Hi, this is Rockin' Robin. I'm always telling you, you need to buy video games, that video games are worth a lot of money. Well, today, I'm gonna look at a little bit, do a little bit of the history of video games, and then at the end, I'm gonna tell you some of the video games that if you look out for, you're gonna make thousands of dollars. These are the video games you wanna find. We have been selling for 20 years, and we sell on eBay. We sell on Poshmark. We sell on Facebook Marketplace, and we sell at the flea market. Stay with us, and we're gonna bring you some news about video games that you're gonna enjoy. Okay, thanks for coming back. I'm gonna, first I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the history of video games. In 1958, William Higginbotham created Tennis for Two and a large analog computer and connected a oscilloscope screen for the annual's first visitor day at the Brookhaven National Laboratory in up to New York. Now that's considered kind of the first thing that made video games but there's more. In 1962, Steve Russell at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology invented Space War, a computer-based combat video game for the programmed data processor. It was the first video game that can be played on multiple computers. So this meant that you didn't have to just have one. It was like if you played chess, you could play here and you could play there. So that was interesting. In 1967, Ralph Baer invented a prototype multiplayer. The video game system could be played on a television known as the Brown Box. So Baer sold the systems to consumers of the Odyssey, who made the first video game home console in 1972. In 1975, Atari released the home version of Pong. I remember playing Pong on a friend's video thing and I thought this was so cool. I was addicted already. <laughs> In 1977, Atari released Atari 2600. Do you remember it had little joysticks? I loved playing those joysticks and getting those joysticks right. You just had to worry that you didn't press them too hard and ruin them, but they were really cool. The release of Space Invaders came in 1978 and the launch of Activision was in 1979. Nintendo also released a number of important video games, such as Super Mario Brothers, The Legend of Zelda, and The Mermaid in the 1980s. Now, Zelda is an important video game, so remember that one. In 1989, Sega released its 16-bit Genesis console to compete with Nintendo. Now, Genesis wasn't as good as Nintendo, but I still have a Genesis system today. It's the uh, Genesis that they made recently, but I play some of the old Genesis games with it because I loved it, but it was not as good as Nintendo. In 1991, Nintendo released the 16-bit Super NES console in North America. Now, that was cool. And in 1995, Sega released the Saturn system, the first 32-bit video system. Though Sega and Nintendo released a lot of video systems, they could not compete with Sony. Sony became the king. PlayStation was it. When PlayStation came out, everything else became secondary. PlayStation is still big today. PlayStation 2, which came out in 2000, is the largest number of game consoles ever sold to the public. There's more PlayStation 2 systems out there than any other game consoles. PlayStation 3 was the first to do Blu-rays for their games. And now, this is a hundred billion dollar industry. Videos are incredible. Almost every household has a video system of some kind, especially if you have children. We don't have children, but you know what? I still play video games. It's still a big draw to people who love that type of thing. And I was brought up with it. I played Pac-Man on the, the machines. I played Centipede. Centipede was my game growing up. Oh, I love that. I could master anything. So now let's talk to you about what are some of the video games that are worth the most amount of money, games that you want to look up. 
to sell on eBay. Atari Red Crossing sells for about $10,000, $10,000, Atari Red Crossing. Nintendo Campus Challenge has taken in $14,000 to $20,000 for one video. Look for that one. Nintendo Power Fest 1994 is $10,000 to $11,000 in value if you're gonna sell it. Can you imagine? Atari Atlantis, five to $7,000. Go find one of those. Nintendo Super Kappa, 400 to 6,000, depending on where you sell it and, and uh, how the condition. A Nintendo Mountain Bike Rally and Speed Racer Combo Car, $1,500 to $4,000. Are you thinking about going to look at video games yet? Gets better. E.T., remember E.T., the movie? Remember the video game? It's about $1,500 to sell one on eBay. I want to find one of those. Atari 2600 Air Raid. As far as they know, there's only one in existence. One that they found and sold for $33,433. Now, I'm not sure when that sold, but it, prices are just going up from there. Bondi Stadium Events. Now that's a name you gotta look for, Bondi, B-A-N-D-A-I. 2,600 to 41,000. I saw one on eBay sold on March 11th. On March 11th, it sold for $55,000 on eBay. March 11th, 2020, you go look it up. $55,000 it sold for on eBay. If you see Bandai, B-A-N-D-I-I, pick them up. 1990 Nintendo World Champion Gold and Gray Edition. $8,500 to $20,200 is what it's valued at. A sealed Dr. Wright first image Mega Man for the Nintendo system sold on February 23rd, 2020 on eBay for over $41,000. $1,000. Yes, I looked these up. I went to eBay and I did a search and I said, what are the selling items that I have to look for? $41,000 on February 23rd. On eBay also, a Super Mario Brothers factory sealed H-Scan Rev A Nintendo NES VGA 70 system sold for $35,000 on eBay on January 11th. If you have one of those hanging around the house, you might want to think about putting it up. Nintendo Game Boy Pokemon Yellow Brand New Factory Sealed sold for $5,000 on February 16th of 2020. If you go to eBay, you got to look up sold items for video games. It's incredible. Now, I told you to look out for Zelda. The Legend of Zelda NES 1987 original packaging Jing, never opened sold for $4,400 on January 9th. Now, you know what gets me is I had this game and I bought it brand new and, oh, why didn't I buy two of them? One to play and one to keep. And you know, I didn't even really care for the game. That drives me crazy. $4,400 for Zelda unopened right now for NES 1987. As of March 28, 2020, there were over 2.1 million video games on eBay. That's a lot of eBay items. All those video games are for sale on eBay. Not all of them are selling for $44,000. You have to know a little bit about them. And, and I told you some of the good ones. There's a lot more, but this is a big reason why you should pick up video games. Never overlook video games at a tag sale. Ask people if they have video games. I've been at several tag sales, garage sales, and people have said, hey, do you have any video games? Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. Chances are you're not going to find a $44,000 one, but you don't know. And even if you went and you bought one for five bucks and it was a $200 one, would you be upset? No. Video games are important. The old ones to look out for are the NESs, uh, Bondi, like I said, there's a lot of good video games and who knows which ones you have now will be worth 20,000 in 20 years. I know you're not going to keep them and hang them around and buy doubles and everything, but there are some rare ones out there and I'm sure there's more than one to be found. As far as I told you, there was one that had only one in existence. I bet you there's more than one. I bet you someday someone's going to find another one. 
Video games are a great thing to sell on eBay. I sell them all the time. Go up into your attic, look and see if you have some there. Uh, go ask your aunts, your grandmothers, your uncles, your grandfathers, your mother, your father. Do you have any old video games? Because right now you might go and you might say, hey, I found something. And you know what? It could be a $44,000 find. Video games are a great thing to sell on eBay. You don't have to specialize just in them, but keep your eyes open because they are going to make you a lot of money. So right now, go around your house, look. Go ask your neighbors, hey, you know, uh, people can't go out right now, so who knows what they're going to look around and find and clean up. Maybe you have it. I want you to go out, find something good, find a good video game, and then I want you to subscribe to our channel because uh, if you subscribe, we'll give you more good clues. And give us the thumbs up. If you like what you learned today, give us a thumbs up because we appreciate that. Comment if you'd like to. And hit the bell if you want to be notified when we have more. But go out there, find a good video game, and go make yourself some money. This is Rockin' Robin. Have a good day. Go get rich.